I wish I could just open up portals like... Hola amigos, Crispy Bro here and yes, I am back. Um, apologies for my absence, I just finished my final exams. So let's get into reviewing episodes 4 and 5 of class and so they both have the word heart in the titles. I can't quite remember their titles. Anyway, let's go. You know how this works, let's talk about the good. I'd just like to say I've been really impressed by um, the visuals this series, um, given that they have such a restricted budget. And I thought um, the, the realm of the Shadowkin, like the opening shot of episode 4 is Wow, that is better than some of the Doctor Who stuff I've seen. I'm enjoying all the characters. I'm particularly interested in Charlie because obviously he's alien, he was a prince, and you know, he's, he's real, he can be a real dick sometimes because he's like, well, you know, they, my people were killed, why should, why should I not have the right to kill um, other people and stuff, and so I think Mateus is good for him. And I also didn't talk about much of Charlie and Mateus at all in my previous review, and you guys were like, why don't you talk about Charlie and Mateus? So I'm just gonna want to let you all know I am down with Charles Tayus. I, I think they're very good um, characters together. I'm liking Ram. I'm liking April. I'm Tanya. She really hasn't done a lot um, in any of these except for Episode Three, which kind of concerns me because I feel like she is a she's a cool like concept of a character. They just haven't quite nailed it on the head yet, I feel. I'm also loving the fact that um, the parents are getting involved because, you know, we never really saw that in the um, Sarah Jane Adventures that much. Um, and so I think it's really good that, you know, they're discussing the idea of, you know, it's okay to tell your parents. When I saw the trailer for this episode and, you know, it's like a flower invasion, it reminded me a lot of Power of Three, but I think this really, it, I don't know, just the idea of these flowers being able to multiply just by a single speck of blood um, is quite awesome um, and there's some really really gruesome visuals that went along with it. I'm also loving the new principal can't remember her name um, but I think it's really cool and how she's involved with the governors and how she just knows everything I think that's a good a good thread that they've um, woven into this series and hopefully she does um, get a proper explanation or else I'm gonna be I'm gonna be annoyed. Now on to some negative aspects um, I wasn't I'm not really too fussed by the Shadowkin as I like I thought I would be. Like visually I think I think they're very cool. I think they're quite dark and stuff, but I don't know, they just feel very generic. Um I enjoyed in episode five um when they elaborated on why they were so so mad because um you know their their world is just kind of they they think they've been forgotten by the universe and stuff, and so they're pretty pissed. Um, but I, I don't know. I just I, I don't know. They're not my favorites. They're not my favorites. That's all I'm saying. Also, the fight that April had with um, Korakinus, um I don't know. I was I didn't feel very emotionally invested in that. It was just kind of she was she was there and she managed to beat him somehow. Um, so that's that's that I guess. And one thing that bothered me is that there was no real explanation um, at the end of episode 4 when um, April just shoves that blue thing in her mum's chest and all of a sudden she can walk again. Um, I don't know, maybe there was an explanation. If you guys know anything about that, could you please explain it to me in the comments below. And for my standout moment um, in this story, not particularly in any episode, but in episode 5, the entire um, standoff that they have between the principal, Miss Quill, um, Mateus and Charlie was done so well and written so well, I was like, damn, I am torn as to how I should feel. Because on one side you're like, oh, Miss Quill just really wants to take revenge at the Shadowkin because she lost everything. And um, Charlie's kind of like, what's he doing? What's Charlie doing? Charlie's the one making the decision, ultimately. Um, Mateus is like, bro, don't kill anyone. And the principal is like, you need to use this thing to kill all the leaves. So it's just like a a, a three-way standoff and it's just done so well and it's tension fueled. I loved it. Overall I give episode 4 a B plus and I give episode 5 an A minus. Um, pretty good so far. Enjoying class. Yay. So what did you guys think of this two-parter? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see your thoughts. Um, were there some aspects that you didn't like? Was there something that I missed? Please let me know in the comments below. And while I have your attention, um, I just thought I'd let you know that I'm going to Disneyland for two weeks, um, coming up on Saturday, so that's going to be a bit tough posting videos. However, I will be trying to post a video every day up until I go to Disneyland, just as a kind of, hey, 
Thanks for sticking around. Please stick around for the next two weeks while I'm on holidays. Tomorrow's video is very exciting. Um, it's the uh, Crispy Asks episode. Um, yeah, get keen for that. And I've got a lot of good stuff planned, so stay tuned, guys. It should be fun. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow. Alonzi! Hello. I'm the doctor. And you should subscribe to Crispy right now. Do it. What's the harm? Just click subscribe, it's easy, it's simple. Thank you.